Hi there, this is Kaben once again. A very warm welcome to Hack Announce. And guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can send the data from this sensor using Arduino Node MCU to the Firebase database in a child node. So, guys, as you know, we have come a very long way in this IoT with Firebase series. We have almost covered all of the topics that can be uh, used by a beginners. But you can see we have uh, missing one thing. That is, in every video, I have sent the data in a parent node. You can see if you don't know what is parent node, what is child node. You can see the direct node uh, which we see in our firebase database is called parent node so you can see here we are having this distance sensor if i put a finger on this you can see this value will change now its value this value is 4 it's showing over here now if i remove the finger the value will change to 176 again so the data is coming in this parent node and i have found, i have found many comments in my video that were saying that they need a uh, data in a child node so for that i found a way and without being more said let's see how i can do that So guys at the end of this video you will be able to get this you can see here we will be having a distance as a parent node and the sensor data as a child node so here I just uh, added a screenshot because I did it uh, for practicing so that I can showcase you so you can see here is my firebase data and let me directly go to the Arduino ID where we are having the code for this sensor and Arduino node MCU so guys if you know we have covered many tutorials on this IoT with firebase we have covered everything sending a data from sensor adding a push notification and different different Thing. so you can have a look on the description uh, we are having a playlist named IOT with Firebase so here is my code in this code what we are having we are we created an Android app which controls this uh, this LED and the sensor data is got map in the Android app so you can see the previous video for that now here you can see in this code what we are having we directly go to this so you can see here we are having firebase dot set in, in distance so this distance is, uh, is the variable which is being set over here so what we can do if you want to uh, make it a uh, make it as a child node it is very simple what you need to do uh, directly go over here in this distance suppose we are having that uh, we are having a rate of ultrasonic sensor so, so I will type ultrasonic uh, sorry it's ultrasonic underscore data so and uh, here I will type sensor 1 so now if we are having multiple sensors then we can do this like if we are having sensor 2 if we are having uh, different sensor name so we can type sensor 2 sensor 3 so that we if we are dealing with multiple sensors we can have our data in one node only we don't have to deal with different different nodes as you know in firebase if you want to uh, get the data in an android app map it so it is very easy for getting the data from a parent node so i think you are getting if you are not getting please watch my previous videos you will get it so now let's see i have done this and same thing you need to do if you want to get you can see here we are using this get in function for getting the data from a led status you can see here in the cl monitor we are having the data of this led status it is showing led off because if the value is one then only it shows high then it only it shows led on if LED, if otherwise it shows led off so we can also add uh, like previously what we are having i can show you wait to uh, here we are having this has met and uh, uh, in this if you want to well if you want the data of this feedback has met what we can do directly like suppose uh, uh, in place of this I can type uh, feedback and then has met we can type this so this can be done for getting the data for also getting data from a child node so currently we are not dealing with you can hi, uh, you can explore this more and if you are having any doubt please comment out I will tell you so sorry control Y yeah so that's it now let's upload this code so guys uh, let's upload this code so for that we need to check the port yeah port is okay now let's directly click on this upload button it will compile the sketch and directly upload this code in this and this whole controller so let's see the code is getting compiled and this thing doesn't uh, take uh, time on a linux machine but if you are having a windows machine i'm sure it is a cram breaking task sometimes the code get compiled within 15 minutes that's a shit so that's why i would suggest you always use a linux machine because it's secure no need of virus and all those things uh, it doesn't mean that i'm promoting a linux machine but yeah i like linux currently i'm using a kali linux machine so it is also getting compiled and let's see so guys that's bam our code is getting compiled and you can see here it is getting uploaded so this led is blinking actually this led is directly uh, added to d0 port that's why this led get closed so i will advise you don't ever add a led on a uh, 
any sensor data on a D0 because it will it will glow if you are uploading and all those things but this it doesn't matter for me because it's a testing environment we are not working any production environment and guys if you are having any idea of any home automation all those projects please let me know so in the comment box or you can have a website link from where you can comment out so two three sides so guys that's bam our code is get uploaded let's first of all see the serial monitor whether the code is working yeah distance is coming and now let's see our firebase database one of the important thing so guys that's bam you can see distance then ultrasonic data and we are having a sensor one data over here it is getting changed again and again you can see again it got changed if i uh, put a finger over here the data should change let's see whether it is changing or not it should change um yeah you can see it's got eight now yeah that's bam so guys that's it for this video we are successfully able to push the data in a child node of firebase database and if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and guys in the next video we will see the one of the good thing that i am getting comments from many days so that's it how to connect a esp01 to firebase database so till that i will suggest you to subscribe my channel so bye bye and have a nice day